In today's Jolly Outing, we take a trip to Driftlandia and board Drifty Airways to fly around the space of Drifty, only to find ourselves falling back down to earth with Spike Faller and finding ourselves landing in the legend of Driftwood. Yeah! Hello and welcome back to another First Impressions video. I'm your host, Yorkshire Pud, and today we have a game made by the king of RPG maker himself. Oh yes, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one, the only, Drifty, with his game, Driftlandia. Now, Drifty has made quite a few games over the years, as you would suspect, so I'm going to be having a look at all of them, but this is his main project. This is the one that he's spending the most time on currently and developing. So, I think it's only fair that I play this one first. I haven't played this before, so I'm not quite sure what to expect. There isn't any music, which is a bit of a shame. I would like some music when I'm on here. This is an online game as well, so you do need internet access for this, I think. So that might be why there's no music. Sound effects... I'm not sure if there's any sound effects, to be honest, neither. Oh, what's this here? Uh, the multiple... Oh, right. so, so, so there's some blurb there. Uh, as main menu title screens go, I don't think this is particularly good, to be honest. This is the first thing that pops up. I would like a more grander title. I would like, you know what I mean, a real good entrance, a real nice title screen, to be honest. Because what we've got is this. So this is, welcome to Driftlandia. There are many things to do. Uh, but what you do is up to you. So that's quite a nice kind of arms. You have been granted a teleport crystal. Ooh, look at yours. You may use this to move around the world. What would you like to do next? Enter the tavern. Uh, so you're giving us a bit of blurb here. But yes, I would like a, a proper title. A real, you know, main menu title screen, really. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. Let's check it out and let's enter the tavern and see what it's all about. Well, I'm not sure. I don't, what is this? Hang on. Hey, hey, beautiful. Oh, God. Um... Test, test, oh hello, oh, oh, can I type on here, hello, does that work? Oh, oh, God, what is this, anonymous, uh, with temporary name, yeah, temporary name, let's try that, uh, Yorkshire, go. Oh, I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go, there I am, hey, Friday, uh, July 8th, or to quarter to two, yes, hello, anyone there? Uh, right, so yes, yes, let's start this, I'm not sure what that is exactly. Oh, fucking hell, I'm not baking it already, am I? Tell us, let's enter the fucking pub. <laughs> there we go, right. Welcome to the tavern. What would you like to do next? All oh, right. Um, yes, it really is missing some music. I would like some music. Uh, rent a room for one gold. I've got zero gold. I'm level one. So you're telling me my stats on my left. So I think this is like a text adventure type of game, something you'd get in the 80s, early 90s on the PC. Oh, that's what I'm thinking this is. Rename yourself. I think I've already got a name. Have I got a name? Hello, name. <laughs> what is your name? Uh, Yorkshire. That's my name. Oh, and I've got beeping going off. There we go. Just close down Discord. Uh, what is your name? Yorkshire. Save. Uh, wander around outside. No, save for now. That's quite a nice though. I quite like this uh, image. Hello, name saved successfully. Thank you. Right, let's go back to the pub now. Now everyone knows my name. <laughs> Level one, zero gold, so I can't enter room. Can I get a drink? Probably not, because I've got no money. Right, so you enter the tavern. The only things I can do is rent a room or rename myself. All right, let's exit the tavern. That's, that's enough of the tavern. And oh, we're back here. Oh, okay, so maybe we explore over here. Town centre, explore. Oh, got my name. That's nice. Let's go to town centre. So, oh, 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 here we go, here we go. So we've got weaponsmith centre. We've got major's tower, alchemy centre, aerosmith centre. Right, I think you go there if you don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> Woodwork centre, smelting centre, trade centre, tanning centre. Is that like a sun tan or is that leather tanning? Either way, I'm curious. Player market, Driftlandia tavern, cooking centre, travelling merchant. Uh, well, I've got no gold at the moment, so there's no point in me going shopping right now. So where's the quest? What do I do to uh, to go in a dungeon or something? Um, I'll tell you what, let's check out the Major's Tower, because it sounds pretty cool. Oh, right, here we go. Uh, Thunderbolts will deal 75% thunder damage and 25% range damage based on intelligence. The base spell level is a multiplier of the damage and mana cost. Fair enough. Expertise level EL will add more damage without the additional mana cost. Learn Thunderbolt. So I need 10 arcane tombs. I need 10 large thunder orbs and one free point. And I've got, I've got sweet fuck all. <laughs> and then you got Fosspot. All right, so you go here to learn skills. Okay, I can dig that. Okay, so if I go to the Aerosmith Center, what do I learn? Guitars. 
uh, oh, craft helmets, craft uh, chest plates, uh, chest, <laughs> craft chest plates, craft boots, craft gauntlets. Right, okay. So again, I've got no ingredients, I've got no nothing. So how do I get stuff? Let, let's try explore. Oh, here we go. Exploring costs energy. How much energy have I got? I've got 100. Oh, yes, no problem. Where would you like to explore? The outside of the castle, 1 to 50 levels. That kind of sounds like me. Uh, the Great Plains, Harmony Valley. It really is missing some music. Oh, this is nice. Like that. What's that? Mushroom Forest. Nice. Might be able to rescue Princess Tolstool. Dragon Pack. Grand Arena. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's go there. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go to end. <laughs> uh, Frost Maiden Sheila. Oh, she sounds cool. Let's check her out. Oh, I'm, I'm missing the required pop. I haven't got enough pop. Where do I get pop from? Um, oh, I need a Maiden's Locket. Oh, all right, I'll tell you what, let's go, uh, let's go back to number one then. <laughs> let's start at the beginning. Fine. <laughs> It'd be like that. Right, so this one is go foraging, go fishing, go logging, go mining, go hunting. Zone boss. Maybe later. Let's go, let's go fishing. Yeah, it's a nice day for fishing today. Oh. You fish in the area gaining 400... There's volume. I have got my volume on. Yeah, yes, yeah, okay. Uh, you fish in the area gaining 400 experience and catching one shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, lucky me. I've got 400 experience for catching a shrimp. <laughs> you also gain 569. Nice. Fishing experience. I've got fishing experience. Wow. <laughs> um, yes, it, it'd be really nice to have a sound effect or something, you know, a little splash in the water or I don't know what noise a fish makes, but you know, magic carp noises. <laughs> um, so this has gone up. My experience has gone up. My fullness. I need to cook my fish, that's what I need to do. Let's go log in. Let's be a lumberjack for a minute. You search for lumber in the area, gaining 400 experience and finding two wooden branches. Two wood <laughs> I went foraging and I found two branches. <laughs> I think you've been very generous with the experience there. <laughs> my dog can find more branches than that. <laughs> You also gain 447 lumberjack experience. Nice. Uh, I don't want to go down pit. I don't like that job. Let's let's fight the boss. How about that? Oh, bugger. I'm missing the ogre blood pop item. Oh, yeah, you're telling me there. You could maybe have that a different colour. I don't know. It's not very visible. So if you have these in, like, green or something or yellow, so it's like, oh, yeah, I can do these ones, but this one's in red. So, yeah, I need to have an item for that. Uh, it could be made a bit clearer. Uh, go, man. All right, fine. Let's go down pits. You man the area searching for ore. Gain 200 experience and find one iron ore. All right, and some stuff down here. So I need to scroll down for this. All right. Uh, it's a shame that can't all fit on one page that I have to scroll down. Maybe it's my zoom. Maybe if I zoom out more. You also gain 288 mining experience. All right, all right. Uh, let's go somewhere else. Let's check it. Oh, there isn't. Oh, there isn't anywhere else, is there? The Great Plains. You're probably not going to let me do this, are you? Uh, I need one EL. What's EL? Oh, well, no, I did it. I did it. Nice one. You forage the area, gain 400 experience, and finding one berries. Mm, it's a bit weird. You also gain 581 foraging. So I, I went foraging, and I found literally one berry. <laughs> I'm not very good at this foraging or fishing lark, am I? <laughs> I need, I need to level up. Um, so I've got 1,400 experience, fullness, level 1, 0, gold. How do I get gold? Oh, oh, hang on, what's this? What's this? Yeah, this this game might uh, might do well with a tutorial, possibly. I didn't even see this. So I've got inventory, I've got level up, stats V, gear V, properties, notifications, leaderboards, economy, and tutorial. Oh, there we go, tutorial's right at the bottom. Bloody hell, mate, put that at the top. <laughs> Here we go. Right. <laughs> Let's have a look at this then. Thank you for playing my little browser MMORPG. You're welcome. Here are a few little tidbits of information about the game. The idea of this game is quite simple. You spend a few minutes each day to beef up your character. The progress is quick, but there is no character level cap. The goal is to provide a character progression system that could keep you busy for years, even if you only play for five minutes a day. Although, you could play for more if you wanted to. I'm focusing not only on building a steady progression system, but also systems that provide many ways for players to interact with each other. That's cool. Auction houses, jewels, trading leaderboards, etc, etc. I'll do my best to implement some cool stuff if I'm able to. The best place to get a hold of me is, and other players is on the Discord server. Yes, there will be a link down below if you want to join Drifty's Discord server. You can find the links on the left-hand side of the bar if you scroll down. I have an official Patreon Discord server and lots of game devs hang out there. I would be honoured if you would consider joining us there. Oh, that's quite nice. Official Discord server. So I can scroll down a bit more. Oh, wow. Uh, once you have accounts, you can click on the login text. 
Uh, okay, yes, yeah, so I don't think I can get to this screen without logging in, to be fair. When you log in, you should notice that the left sidebar will update to show your hero stats. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The default hero name. Default, hey, that's not a default name. <laughs> I'll have you know. <laughs> default hero name can be changed by visiting the tavern and clicking the rename button. Yes, you can pick a name up to 20 characters. Yes, yes, yes. The tavern is where you will go to cheaply restore your health. Yeah, when you've got some gold. How do we get gold? It's, uh, it's found in the town centre, Driftlandia travel button. If your health reaches zero, your hero will lose half of their energy. So remember to rest up at the tavern in between hunts. Okay. Performing actions like hunting will consume energy, which you can see on the left-hand side of the bar. Energy and mana will automatically restore over time at a rate of one per minute. Just refresh the page or continue to play the game regularly to see them updates. To spend your energy points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is there any cliff notes? You'll do more damage if you increase your strength. Yeah. Increase your intelligence, you do more magic damage. Fire. Uh, when you kill a monster in combat, you'll be given gold based on their level and experience, based on the energy cost of the fight. So, for the first area, all enemies will give 1000 experience. So, no need to fight hard enemies just yet. Run from higher level ones until you get some higher stats. Every 10,000 experience you get will grant you a new level. There is no level cap, so you could master every skill and stat with enough time and energy. When you level up, they'll be given three free points to spend on a variety of things you can spend them on lots of different variety of things i assume in addition to the three points okay okay this is a play market in the town that you may visit and buy and sell stuff if you encounter a bug fair enough all of the uh, all of, all of the stuff is a work in progress please let me know on discord if you find any issues okay thanks again for playing it no problem uh, so there you go that's the tutorial so what's the objective exactly then i'm trying to save a princess um, is it just open world let's do whatever i want we'll just go fishing and login i'm not sure i'm not sure let's, say, well, let's check out the inventory i've got one three points view items yeah it really needs some uh, some audio this it needs some sound effects and stuff ideally this uh, a listing of all your items found oh god so i've got, <laughs> I've got two branches i've got some iron i've got a shrimp and i've got berries <laughs> Oh my word. And the thing that's most valuable is my wooden branch. There you go, guys. There you go. <laughs> wooden branches are more valuable than iron. Oh, I can sell it. Oh, yeah, let me sell me wooden branches. Who the fuck's going to buy a wooden branch? <laughs> Uh, sell an item on the player market. Oh god. Listen an item or stack of items will cost a flat market fee of Oh man, I'm only gonna get thirty gold for me fucking tree branch and he's charging me a thousand to put it up on eBay. <laughs> a one percent market transition fee will be deducted. Oh my word. What about PayPal? Do they take a cut as well? Items to sell <laughs> wooden branch. <laughs> <laughs> value 30 rarity one is that good i, I think it's good yeah uh, item type wood item usable no item consumable yes you can eat wooden branches of course you can item weight one uh remanning item durability oh it's, it's, it's very durable my branch magic level one account of health recovery right oh wow using this item will grant the user this spell hmm. using this item will put their user in this state is, is that a shocked Pikachu expression, that? Two dots and a, and a circle. The item was created on 2020. Uh, sell price is not per unit. It's for the entire stack. Uh, I'll tell you what, then. I want to keep one. So I want to sell one. Sell price per total. Let's say 777. Seven. That seems fair for a tree branch, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's sell it. Who's going to buy my tree branch? Come on. Come on. No? Any, anybody? Any, anybody at all? Hmm. Uh, I think I need to go back there when I've got something more um, substantial to sell. Maybe some gold or something. Where did that chat menu thing go? Not sure. Page views. Unique. Hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. So yeah, yeah. I can sell things on there. Let's let's uh, let's check out level up. Oh my word. You currently have one three point to spend. Stat and skills level cap level ninety nine. Oh wow. So it's saying minus ten. So I need ten skill points to get these. Oh, that one takes one. I can get. Oh, I can get a suntan <laughs> for one point. <laughs> I tell you what, then it is the weather. It is summer. So there we go. I've spent my points on a lovely new suntan. There we go. Uh, explore a bit more. No. Well, where's it gone? What are we looking at? There we go. Uh, status. Let's look at the stats. Character strength. Ten. 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 Charisma 10, Agility 10. Yeah, so it's like old school Dungeons and Dragons. I quite like that. So Fallout with the special stats. Cool. Gear. I don't think I've got any gear. Not sure I might say in V. I think these might be like a backslash and a forward slash. 
not sure why you've got that on uh, equipped weapon what is it tree branch durability durability of what what have I got equipped damage equipped weapon I don't know I don't know uh, I think this is a bit of a work in progress to be fair so there's going to be a few things that don't quite make sense uh, things to get ironed out later oh what's this one I just clicked on oh nice graphic this is cool like this oh cool like this oh yeah got little heads in jars where the fuck am I <laughs> where am I <laughs> Bloody teleport crystal. Uh, this is properties. Oh, this is my this is my gaff. Hey, that's not looking bad. That. Oh, I I want octopus and everything. Uh, I love the library. This is a really cool uh, image. This I like this. So what can I do here? Can I click on anything? Is it like a point and click adventure? Hello, hello. Who's that? Bevis? Octopus. You all right? No. Okay. Not not sure what to do there. Notifications. All right. Let's check out the notifications. Title, message, and dates. Uh, okay, can't, can't type anything here. Mm, okay, uh, next we have leaderboards. All right, yeah, let's see who's actually playing this game. Who have we got here then? So, number one in level is Protus, and then we've got Spiffly, we've got Totally Not Drifty. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. <laughs> we've got Emel, we've got Sue Stop, we've got Tony from the block, we've got Spy Flea, we've got Booger24, nice name, mate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Grimmy Lee, Farticus Maximus, now that's a cool name, I like that. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, it's the same kind of people throughout here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we've got some more down here. It's weird I have to scroll down. Open your item inventory to relocate its, uh, to recalculate its worth. Yeah, oh, Aerosmith, totally not drifty. All right, all right, so there's your, there's your leaderboard. So these people are, oh, wow, you've got some level 99s here. Uh, totally not drifty, Emel, Spifless, and uh, Proteus. Tony from the blocks, only 60. Oh, poor Tony. Okay, interesting, okay. Uh, what's after leaderboards, then? What else have we got? Economy. Yes. Total amount of gold that exists in the world. Oh, my word, what's that, like 78 million? Uh, total amount of players that exist in the world, 87. Oh, I'm lucky, 7. Yay, nice. Average gold per hero. Fucking hell. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing many favours for your averages. <laughs> search for an item, see how, much, how many. Uh, search for tree branch total count of tree branch in the world <laughs> oh, there's nothing for him to scroll down on here go down a bit more oh that's everything then main quest one i can't click on that what is the main quest then they could maybe do with a quest log or something perhaps i'm not sure home games credits profile log out oh oh what's going to happen if i click this oh cool yeah see credits yeah yeah. Oh, is that your name? Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, additional websites, T, yes, Axel, Tony, Minsk. Oh, Minsk. Uh, mu music? Where's your music? Oh, Aaron, Darren, Joel, Side. What are you playing at? I can't hear no bloody music. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm going to add some music to this game. There we go, that's much better. Right, Medieval Tavern uh, interior. Oh, nice, nice backgrounds. Oh, cool. Um... Free, free backgrounds and wallpapers and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, nice. Special thanks to all who helping me. Nice. Mm, okay, then, so back back to exploring. So I need some money. I can't even sleep in the pub. I don't really want to sleep in a pub, to be honest. They're very noisy. Or at least they're very noisy when I'm there. Uh, I can't do that. Let's, let's go hunting. Yes, let's hunt for rabbits. Or is it dog season? I always forget. Uh, monsters health 50. Oh, well, well, here we go. We're at combat. Where did this come from? Oh, right, nice one. Nice one. Here we go. Here we go. So, who's his level 1? Yorkshire's level 1. Oh, yes. I, I'm, I'm looking a lot more OP than he is. Uh, Blunt slash earth thunder venom. Oh, nice. Right. Uh, quite a nice graphic. That's quite interesting. Run away or attack. We're going to attack the slime. Oh, shit. What happened there? Oh. Is that it? No, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> a little bit disappointing. Uh, congratulations on your recent victory. You have obtained two gold. Oh, I can sleep at the pub. Yay. <laughs> and a thousand experience. Yeah, I think that's the same experience as I did from collecting branches. I'm not sure. Uh, can I do this one now then? No. Um, go hunting. So going hunting is attacking an enemy. Is there a sound effect? Let me just turn this right up. Right. Let's try this. See if we can hear anything. No, no, not a dicky bird. Um, so yeah, he combats. Oh, oh, what the fuck is this? A purple carrot? Oh, it is a purple carrot. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Evil carrot. How can you have an evil carrot? <laughs> What's this carrot doing? That's so evil. <laughs> All right, so we're getting experience points. 
Uh, again, it's a shame it doesn't all fit on, on my screen. I have to kind of scroll down a little bit, you know, that's, that's a bit annoying. Uh, I tell you what, let's keep doing this until we level up. Oh, what the fuck is that? This is a scorching shroom. Oh, wow, <laughs> he's having a laugh. <laughs> so, yeah, I am liking you battlers. They are looking quite cool. Oh, fuck me, he's hit me. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's see what happens if we die. In fact, let's see what happens when we run away. Yeah, <laughs> to be expected. So, I've only got 10 out of 100 health now, so let's go back to the town centre and let's go for a kip. Where's the pub? Oh, there we have Strifflandia Tavern. Rent one room. Did, did I do it? Yes, I, th I think I did, didn't I? Uh, so, yeah, again, a bit disappointed. I'd like a sound effect or something like this. I'd also like a screen. I'd like to see the beds maybe fade to black and then, you know, fade back. Um, yeah, yeah, sound effect would be nice as well because this. Mm, yeah, not great, not great. But like I said, this is a work in progress and he's trying something new. So, you know, I, I appreciate that. Um, sound sensor. Um, so, can I, is there anything really for me to do here? Oh. Hello, who are you? Player weapon market. <laughs> Uh, player the weapon market listed here with the weapons for sale by other players in Driftlandia. All right, sale items can be sorted by clicking on the head of the appropriate column. You can search by the item name in the search bar. All right. So is everybody that's selling the item? Oh no, these are the people that are selling the items. Totally not drifty. Pew pew ka pickle. <laughs> okay. Oh my word. Email, totally not drifty, totally not drifty. Email, email, email. Oh, whoop, whoop. Uh, Enigma, yes, I know that guy. Yes, yes, there we go. Tony from the block. Uh, dragon, 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 dragon balls. Of course it is. <laughs> uh, some more Tony from the block. Women change tavern, Skiko gamer. Alright, so what do I do then? I can't, I can't fucking afford out, but you know. They might not know. Uh, weapon details. This weapon is listed for 500. Waste, uh, weapon base damage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, strength modifier. Oh, quite, quite high modifiers there. 200 to 100 percent. Yeah, I'm a load of other. Yeah, let's see what happens if I click this. Hmm. So it, it didn't exactly come up and say, no, you can't buy this. You need more money. It just throws me back here. So, hmm, interesting. Uh, let's go back to the town centre. In fact, no, let's explore. Let's, let's level up. That's what I want to do. Well, let's kill these monsters. So I'm about halfway there. And uh, we'll see what happens. There we go. Just click that. Mm. Yes, it's, it's not very really satisfying your combat, to be honest. It's a bit... Mm. <laughs> you could definitely do with some work, I think. And yeah, no sound effects. That's, just... uh, that's not very good. Uh, come on, then. I am getting experience. Oh yes, this is this, this should be the one. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no! What the fuck's this? Oh, <laughs> too late. He's fucking dead. <laughs> okay, so I've just leveled up this skill. I think. Uh, no little victory jingle or anything like that. No level up jingle. Um, got to level up. You currently have three free points. Okay. Um, so this is 10 to increase my dexterity, agility is 10, fishing 1, I don't know what to increase really. Smelting, fishing, foraging, where's me fighting? That was hunting or something, wasn't it, I think. Uh, training, there we go. We'll go with that one. Mm. Again, you're not really telling me what it's doing, is it giving me more percentages or something? Is it making me... Uh, it'd be nice to have some kind of indication what that actually does, and yeah, so some kind of sound effect. Uh, so we're level 2, 21 gold, 1 free point. Can I, can I increase my tan? No, I can't. <laughs> let's, let's increase my lumberjacking skills, whatever that's worth. Alright. Uh, explore again. Hmm. Uh, so, yes, I'm not sure about this game, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure if many people are playing... Well, I don't know how many people are playing 87 people are playing it. I don't know how, many, how often people are going to come back to this game. Uh, I don't know if there's much depth here, there's actually really much to do. You search for lumber in the area, gaining 400 experience, finding one wooden branch. Yeah, you might not like what I'm going to say next, but I don't know, maybe this would have been better to make an RPG maker? I, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, because I, I'm kind of getting like like Stardew Valley vibes and like Harvest Moon, you, you know what I mean? And you could do that on um, on RPG Maker and you've got something more visual there to look at I can explore in person and well I don't need to explain to you what RPG Maker's about but this I don't know it seems a bit a bit boring if I can be honest with you I'm, I'm sorry dude 
Uh, would, would I play this again? I'm, I'm not 100% sure I would. Because I'm not sure what I'm aspiring to. Am I trying to save a princess? What's the goal? Am I just trying to find some kind of property? But then, can I show this off to my friends? Can I can I invite Warpig to move around and go, Hey mate, look around, look around my gaff. Do, do you like this octopus? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yes, yes. Uh, getting more weapons and all that kind of stuff. Mm, well, yeah, what's the end goal exactly? I'm not, I'm not sure. Hmm. Um, I'll tell you what, let's, let's stick with it a bit, bit longer then. What else can I do here? Uh, explore Town Centre. There's not really much I can do. Can I watch Aerosmith? Uh, I'll just crafting boots. What do I need for this then? Oh my word. Craft iron boots, 2 energy, 10 iron ignits. Uh, so again, I think you can do like crafting systems on RPG Maker and yeah, yeah, this... It's not very visually appealing, to be honest. I don't know if you have like some logos or some icons rather next to these that might make it a bit more, you know, visually interesting, I suppose. But at the moment, it's not doing a great deal for me, particularly because there's no music. Unless there's a music setting, because it did say there was music. I can't bloody find it. I said, I'm just going to add my own music. There you go. <laughs> uh, home game credits profile logout. Um, profile? Select an avatar. Okay, all right. Um, oh, oh, well, good God! <laughs> I'm expecting this. Uh, select an avatar. So we've got a uh, Japanese type of animation, anim animated girls here. Yes, big, big eyes. Um, oh. <laughs> Uh, and then, then we've got like real pixelated. <laughs> yeah, the, the mm, it's not very really consistent, is it? Your, your graphics here, but hey, it doesn't have to be necessarily. Uh, but yeah, that's. that's... <laughs> <laughs> he looks happy, I'm going to be him, he looks like a good farmer. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I like your hair. Wow, yeah, these, these are very different, aren't they? Look at these, wow. Um, huh, hello. Wow. Uh, yes, I'm probably going to go with... <laughs> oh, this is a, a woman with a, with a beard? Hey, why not? Why not? I'm, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. <laughs> We've got a farmer with pink lipstick. And a beard again. I ain't judging. You be you. Um, yes, I think I want to be this bald guy. He looks happy. Where, where's he gone? Where, where? <laughs> I've lost him now. Yeah, this guy. He looks happy. He's got like an ear piercing there. Can I pick him? No. Uh, again, you know, I, I don't. Where, where's it gone? Why has it chucked me back to this screen? Can I? Can I even see myself? If, 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 oh yeah, I can. Oh god, that's scary. <laughs> there we go. That's Yorkshire put. <laughs> Oh, I would. Um, right, okay, okay. So maybe when I first log in and all that kind of stuff, you could maybe give me that option, pick your name, pick your profile picture. That would work, I think. Uh, but I'm not sure what else to do here, to, to be honest. Like I said, there doesn't seem to be much of a game. I thought it was going to be like a... Um, like the old 80s computer games like pick your own adventure like or you go up a path and you see some angry dwarves to the left of you and you see some crazy mushrooms to the right which way do you go you see a dark cave do you enter it or do you go back to the village i thought it was going to be like that kind of adventure uh this is yes yeah, a bit different to what i was thinking so i'll go hunting and i've got this guy this is the onion squire oh man, i don't want to kill the onion squire oh he's doing the best that he can <laughs> Um, and then my picture's gone back to this, rather than my bald-headed avatar, where is it? Yeah, this is what I look like. <laughs> this is me over me with armour. <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah, that, that's me, we, we're a big fucking bastard two-handed sword, I like that. No sound effects. Yeah, yeah, so your combat really does need work, I'm, I'm sorry to say. Um, it's not really satisfying, it's not really interesting. It would be more interesting, I'm, I'm sorry to say, <laughs> if this was made in RPG Maker. Um, it would, like I said, if, if you met like a Star, a Stardew Valley game or a Harvest Moon type of game in RPG Maker with these kind of mechanics, I think that would work really well. But this, um, I, I suppose being online is the unique selling point to this. Let me see if I can go back online. There's like a little chat thing here somewhere. I'll click on that. Uh, this has gone white. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Hello. Right. Oh, 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 God. Hang on. Bear with me. Bear with me. Uh, I did say hello. Oh, there I am. Hello. No one said hello back. Oh, I'm talking to the void. Oh, what's that? 
uh, play sounds. Oh, well, this is just a message, it's not me, uh, me game. That's a shame. Uh, what's this? Take a picture. Log in to use this feature. I'm alright at the moment. Cheers, man. How about a smiley face? <laughs> Let's do a smiley face. Did it work? Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, um, yeah, okay, fine. Yes, yes. Smiley face. <laughs> and on. <laughs> Uh, so yes, yes, this is more of an, um, a multiplayer type of game. But like I said, e even if I meet someone here, I don't know. I don't know what, what we do. Then can we go on quests together? Can I show off my stats? Um, spells, items. All right, okay, attack. Oh yeah, I want a spell. I want a magic spell. That's what I want. Uh, I might die here. Let's see what happens if I die. I think I'm gonna die. I'll tell you what, let's die. And see what happens. <laughs> I ain't gonna die to a slime. Slime's dead. Mm. So yeah, I mean, it did say in the uh, in the blurb that you just log in for five minutes here and there and play it. Um, yeah, yeah, fine. I'm, I'm not sure I would. So there you go. I think I died. And it's taken me back here. But you, you never gave me like a game over screen or you died screen or anything like that. So you didn't tell me that you deducted gold. If, if I'm not sure if you did. Uh, or it was energy. I think you said didn't you deduct? Uh, you were discovered by a traveller and taken to the tavern. So th this kind of blends into the rest of it. So you could have this maybe a different colour, like yellow or something. Uh, welcome to the tavern, what would you like to do next? Oh my god, inflation, it's gone up. Rename yourself, exit the tavern. Mm. Um, I, I think that's maybe it for, for this game. Yeah. Um, come join us and play in this sandbox web. Yeah, so I think that is the unique selling point that it is online. If you were to make this an RPG maker, I think it's very, very hard to actually make a game online with RPG maker. Although I have seen a few, but they have been pretty shit, to be fair. <laughs> um, but yes, I think this would work much better as a single player uh, Harvest Moon type of game, to be honest. Uh, because this isn't very visually interesting or appealing to me, it's really not. And particularly because there's no sound effects. You yeah, know, I'm just going through motions. It don't, don't really mean anything. I'm not engaged with this particularly. Um, yes, but like I said, I think this is early. This is an early beta, alpha, something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but if you're interested in playing this, you can check it out. There will be a link down below. You could be number 88 that joins. Main quest one. What is my main quest? No, I don't get it. What's my main quest? Yes, yes, some some direction or something. Because <laughs> I click explore, and this is pretty much done. Let me let me go here. Can I go foraging here? Oh, I can, I can. So again, I found one berries, which doesn't quite make sense, but you know, it's. it's um, I found some wheat bits. <laughs> go hunting, fuck it. Let's let's uh, try this one. So this is a flying eyeball. I don't mind flying eyeballs. Pretty really cool. Forty nine. Right, I think I might. So you definitely need some kind of death screen telling me that I died or something. I think that would definitely work. Maybe slow down the combat a little bit more so I can actually absorb what's happening when I've done my battle animation. Uh, it seems to go quite fast. Uh, but I think that's about it, to be honest with you guys. There's nothing really else to see here. Yes. Um, hmm. Yes, I'm not sure about this, to be honest with you, mate. Uh, if, you, if you should continue putting your time and effort into this. Uh, I'm not sure where it can go. I'm not sure what your vision is. I'm not sure how you're going to make this more playable and, and more fun, if I can be honest with you. Um, yes. Yes, I'm, I'm not sure about this game at all. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, foraging. Sure. <laughs> Do I care? I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. <laughs> oh, I feel nasty from saying that now. Uh, but no, I don't particularly care. Uh, these are your, your number 99s and all that, your number one people. Totally not drifty spy free. Um, but I, I'm not really being one for like ladders and leaderboards. I don't care if I'm number one at the top. I care about having fun. That's what I care about rather than being, you know, rank one in Weaponsmith. <laughs> or being the number one lumberjack. <laughs> I'm not bothered. Um, in conclusion, I'm not sure I would suggest this game particularly. I, I'm not sure how appealing it is. There's no music, there's no sound effects. Visually, yes, I like the backdrops, but that's not enough for me to keep playing. Uh, the combat is its not very good. I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but probably default RPG maker combat is actually more fun and more fulfilling than your combat. I'm sorry. 
so in the current state I don't think I would recommend this but it might be a laugh if you've got a couple of friends you could talk to each other and you could be like look I found four berries oh no well I found six berries and two branches I don't know I don't know but this game it isn't really for me so I'll tell you what let's check out a different game All right, and here we have Space Driftwood. Press enter to start. So I think this is more of an arcade type of game. This is going to be a completely different type of game than the previous one. It's not full screen, which is a bit of a shame. So we've got we've got Wazda Escape. Is that what the game's called? <laughs> to move, to pause, left click, to fire lasers, right click to launch bombs. Oh God, uh, I don't actually have my mouse with me. I'm on my little pad thing on my laptop so this isn't going to go well uh, so I need to use my was stas keys press M for music music's not working mate what no music again that sucks maybe there's music in the game when I start all right press enter to start oh we've got music we've got music nice nice good improvement oh my word it's fucking asteroids oh god <laughs> um okay this is a bit weird to move how do I fire oh, that, oh god did I die Hmm, you could have told me I did I die? Oh, the fuck? Press the space bar to exit the station. That's a station? Jesus, I thought it was a black hole. Oh, God. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Uh, out of a fire. Oh, this isn't working with my pad very well. Oh, fucking run, 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 run! Out of a fire! Fire, fire, fire! Fuck's sake, fire! Fire, fire! <laughs> out of a... Oh, for God's sake. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you need a mouse for this one. Uh, it's, it's like asteroids, I suppose. It's, it's not it's not moving like asteroids. So this is it's moving weird. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Again, you could do it with a game over screen. You need something to tell me that I died, to be honest. Um, hang on. To move, to pause, left click to fire lasers. Maybe that's where I'm going. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, they've got to charge up. I've run out of lasers. Oh, for fuck's sake, I need some more batteries. <laughs> fire, fire, fire! It's not firing, what the fuck? Okay, this might be on my end. Oh, there we go, we're firing, we're firing. And now we're not firing. What the fuck's up with you? Fucking behave. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, I need a mouse. Um, um, oh, hang on two seconds, let me grab my mouse. Hang on. Alright, I've got my mouse, let's try this again. No messing about. Here we go, here we go. Alright, so yeah, when I move my mouse around, it moves me around. So that, that kind of works for me, actually. That's not too bad. And I can fire properly now. Uh, it's a shame the screen doesn't repeat, so if I keep going to the left, I, I come out to the right. Uh, sound effects are quite nice. Yeah, sound effects are quite cute. Yeah. Uh, you can maybe have these die in one... Oh, <laughs> you definitely need a game over screen or something. Um, but to start off with, yes, if these could die in one hit, that would be better. These seem to have quite a lot of health. I'd expect to be fighting these on like level 5 or level 6 or something. Uh, so yeah, you might want to ease me into it a bit more. I'm getting points, so look at my score. Oh yes. <laughs> mm, I, I don't know if this was a, a game jam game, to be honest. So, you know, you have to give it quite a lot of leeway if it is. Now, I like in the background, the space background's pretty nice, I do like that. Uh, the sound effects are nice, the music is appreciated, I like to have a bit of music. So what happens with this? What do I do here? Spend one mineral to repair, increase laser damage. Increase laser damage! But I've got no minerals, I don't get minerals. Do, do I get that from killing the monsters? Well, the, the spaceships, they might not be monsters. <laughs> uh, it is a little bit tricky to, to shoot straight. Um, to be honest, Asteroids, I think, did it better. What was that, 1979? <laughs> uh, but no, an attempt was made. It's, it's not... Well, I won't, I won't say it was good. <laughs> um, but it's, it's not too bad. Uh, I, yeah, it's... Mm, it's something you might... Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's not... Uh, it's not good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but it works, it works. You can shoot things and, um, you know, get things shot at you and all that kind of shit. I want some minerals. Come on. Where's my minerals? I might be missing a large part of the game. You might have to, like, land on planets and harvest minerals or something, like you're doing um, Star Control. Uh, what's down here? I really like the music. The music's cool. No, not down here, is there? Where's my minerals? 
sure. Yeah, it's, it's, we, the controls are weird compared to something like Asteroids. Uh, Asteroids kind of hit, hit the nail on the head, I suppose, with that. Uh, so yeah, so some kind of explosion. I, I died there, but there was no, no nothing. It just takes me back to this. So, <laughs> um, mm, yeah, it's interesting, interesting. But I think, um, I think we'll try the next game now. And here we have Spike Faller! Press enter to start, press S to toggle the scoreboards. Let's check out the scoreboards. Scores... <laughs> do, do I need to press S for that? Can you not have that on the screen? <laughs> is, there, is there any need for that? <laughs> I mean, I've got all this space here and here. <laughs> I'm just saying. Press M for the music. Yeah, that works, but I don't mind the music. It's quite nice. Right, enter to start. Oh my fucking god, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, what's happening? What, what the fuck? Oh god, Um. Oh, I think I'm on fire. No, I think I'm dead. <laughs> what the f... Um, right, so this is us then. I'm, I'm falling. I um, don't know why, but I'm falling. We've got a timer, so I'm assuming we've got to try and stay alive as long as we possibly can. We've got zero bonuses. I'm trying to read this before I die. We've got six lives. We've got five lives. <laughs> um, okay, okay, right, let, me, let me pay attention. Let me give this a good old go then. Right, so I'm meant to get the flashing things and stay away from the pointy things. Uh, some tutorial again would be quite nice. Maybe not so much a tutorial, but some kind of uh, page that tells me, oh yes, these flashing things are worth a thousand points. Fucking hell. The, the spiky things are going to kill me. If I get these things, I'm going to get hepatitis. You know what I mean? You could tell me what these different fucking bastard things do. <laughs> um, okay, the music's getting annoying now. Uh, so again, I think this was a, a, a game jam game, to be fair. So, so I'm, I'm not going to judge this too too harshly. It works. I'm going side to side. Uh, gameplay wise, yeah, yes, it's nothing new, I suppose. There's games like this that I'm already out there. Um, the avatar looking very happy. Kind of reminds me of this skiing game you used to get on the PC. You used to have this skier that got eaten by a fucking monster. <laughs> I forget what it's called. Ski free or something. <laughs> so yeah, I'm kind of getting that vibe with this. But can I jump? No, I can't, can I? So it'd be nice if there was some kind of jumping mechanic like the Ski Free game. Uh, that'd be quite nice. If there was some kind of a bottom little snowman that comes out and eats me or chases me. That'd be quite cool if you had someone chasing me. That'd be nice. Uh, but yes, not much to see here, I don't think. Oh, what's that? Again, what, what did that do? What did that do? I mean, Invincible. Is that what it, is that what it is? No, I'm not Invincible. <laughs> so you could definitely give me some kind of screen that tells me what all this stuff does. Because I can't collect it now. What was it? Just the hit detection box. That's a bit off. So those purple things, what do they do? <laughs> um, right, well there you go, guys. This is uh, this is Spike Faller. You fall on spikes. What more do you want? <laughs> Again, I quite like it. If I go all the way to the right, if I pop out on the left, I quite like that. So if you could add that, I mean, you're obviously not updating this anymore, but you know, that'd be nice if I could go from one side to the other. Uh, apart from that, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure um, to suggest, apart from some kind of jumping thing, like in Ski Free. Right, I'll tell you what, let me concentrate, let me see how far I can get now, then. No fucking about it, here we go. Maximum concentration from Yorkshire Pud. So that said S, that's giving me superpowers. Again, no idea what it's actually doing. Still can't pick up these purple things. Not sure what the point of those are. Well, let's see if I can last a minute. Here we go. 25 seconds. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. Oh, no. What the fuck? Oh. That's a bit hard, isn't it? Oh, I'm still going. I'm still going. Yeah, well, I've got eight lives, so look at me. Maybe that's what those S's are. Those S's are... No, they're not extra lives, are they? I haven't got a clue. I'm just getting these fart noises. Oh, that's just cruel. So I think this is randomly generated, I think. Oh, fuck me. Uh, this is randomly generated, I think, which definitely increases the difficulty, because you get this bit here. I mean, I'm meant to get past that. That's nuts. That's nuts. And then just boom, straight onto the game over screen. Right, next. And here we have The Legend of Driftwood. Now this looks more like an RPG Maker game. Uh, particularly because it says it down here. 
Uh, but I'm liking this. I'm liking look at this uh, a lot. I'm liking your fonts, driftwood. You've made it in wood, and you've got little leaves growing out of it. That's really cool detail. You've got yourself, and you've got T behind you. You've got your logo there. You've also got like your logo fading into the background. Yeah, I really like this title screen. Nice music as well. Oh yeah, yeah. This, this, this sounds very good. Uh, this sound effect is that default? Sounds a bit default, but hey. Uh, I can let you off with that one. Always dash off, command remember. Oh yeah, this looks like a pop RPG maker game. It really does. Right, so uh, well, let's crack on. I wasn't expecting this. Let's check out your credits. Okay, yeah, uh, Jan Fly RPG Maker Web, um, all that kind of stuff. I think you can click on these and it'll do something. Yeah, it'll take it to a web page. Or maybe not. Um, <laughs> please wait while you're redirected. Okay, okay, okay. So you can go on uh, all these web pages. That's really cool that you've linked that in. That's really, really awesome. Uh, cool. Right, well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's check out this game. Right. New game. A Legend of Driftwood. Oh, right, we're thrown straight into it. So here we go, we've got a mercenary. General, we are nearly there. The town's militia will pose no threat to our army. So I think you might have installed a plug-in at the last minute. <laughs> I think a lot of people do this. So you have got all this space here not being used. But that's an easy fix. That's a quick fix. And this is General Gaza. Good. See to it that everything goes to plan. Yes, sir. Hmm. Yeah, quite a nice map. I'm liking this. I'm liking the rain. I'm liking the music. Uh, oh, that's a nice bit of detail there. The water coming out and bubbling. Yeah, cool. Nice mapping. I like this. Oh, yeah. Music's kicking up a gear. Oh, music's gone. <laughs> I'm enjoying that. How was dinner? What's my dinner? A cup of tea? Uh, it was smashing. Thank you, Tina. It's fine. <laughs> I suppose I wouldn't expect you to be excited over a cup of tea. It's still good. At least we're not starving. There's not something everyone in this town can say, you know. You're a sweet girl. If you want, we can give some of this away. I've only got one cup of tea. I'm not giving it away. <laughs> I think we have more than we need. Let's see if the old man is hungry. All right, after we finish dinner, we'll go check on him. Okay. Oh, God, what was that? What about the cat? What was that? Stay here and hide. I'll go and seek. Okay. <laughs> you should check around the hidden supplies before continuing. Right, thank you for that. Uh, so this mapping... Yeah, this is a bit weird. I suppose this tile set doesn't quite work for me. Um, I think that's quite evident with these black lines here and here. So, yes, I'm not sure about using the tile for this. It kind of works at the top, but as soon as you go to the corners, it kind of looks a bit weird, like this bit here. Um, so I would just go back to like a normal tile set for that, personally. But apart from that, no, I'm quite liking it. I'm liking the floor. It's all battered. You've got like brown scorch bits. You've got missing tiles. Uh, you've got bars on your window. But then you have it on this window. That's strange. Uh, but yeah, overall, I quite like the mapping on this. You obtained a what? A Tinkerbell. A Tinker Pure. <laughs> What's in here? You obtained a buckler. All right, okay. We've got a mirror. Smashed. Can I do some washing? No. i wash my cup of tea. No. Oh, bread. You don't want to leave your bread out like that. Get that. You've obtained a song random. Oh, God, I've just found a, <laughs> just found a mobile phone. Uh, what's that, then? Song. Oh. So this is, we've got a, a Tinty Cure. It stores 35%. Oh, I hate percentages. We've got a Bronze Mace. Okay, Strength 20, Wisdom 10. So that's like a cleric type of item. I don't mind that. We've got a Buckler. Let's equip that. Oh, we've got Crafting. Oh, hello. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> Key items. Let's check this out. Oh wow. Oh god. Uh, am I going to get copy strike for this? Final Fantasy VI. Back to town. Arrange contributing artist McJaffer. I don't know. Um, mm, not sure about Final Fantasy VI music. To be honest. Uh, item. Let's let's change this. Uh, yeah. You're, oh god. No. It's going to be even worse. I don't want to get copy strikes. <laughs> copy my strikes. Uh, no, no, change, change, change. I don't want this. Uh, bollocks. Oh, tits. It might not be too bad. I might not get copy right strikes for this. Uh, right. Um, I'd like a jukebox. I'd like it if you actually gave me a choice of, say, six songs that I could pick. That would be quite nice. Right, one last time. Um, but then again, it wouldn't be a, a randomizer, would it? Chrono Trigger, yeah, okay, fine, we'll stick with this one for now. You obtained a Phoenix Brew, oh aye. Nothing in the sink, no washing up needs to be done, thank God for that. Can I finish my tea? No, <laughs> can I go through here? You obtained th three silver ingots, nice. Anything over here? 
You obtain strong juice. Oh god, what kind of juice is that then? Oh, hello, zoom in, fucking hell. <laughs> Extreme close up. <laughs> uh, Tina, Tina, get back in the house. It's pissing it down and pack your things. We have to leave. <gasps> but what's going on? Oh no, who's this cat? He's a ginger, so it's got to be evil. General, we found her. An interesting font that for you. Oh, so that's, that's interesting. I quite like that. Huh. Oh, what the fuck happened there? That, that was a bit quick. Right, so here we go then. A bit of combat straight, uh, straight in. I don't mind that. I quite like games that give me combat straight away. I do. Right, so basic attacks. Pretty basic. What do you expect? <laughs> slashy, slashy. Yeah. Um, so first impressions. I am probably preferring this to your MMO, if I can be honest. Um, oh, now I've just heard your victory jingle. No, I'm not preferring this to your MMO. I hope for your MMO. <laughs> I'm joking. Level up! Thank you, thank you! Uh, blue Wind. Uh, acquired skill, third eye. That sounds painful. And we've got some Joker points. JP. Huh. Sure that is. Yesterday's fish. Oh god, tonic. And we've got some DG. What the hell is DG? <laughs> What's that? They have come here looking for you. There is much we must discuss, but now it's not the time. We need to escape through the sewer, not the sewers. No. For me? Why me? What about the people of the town? What will happen to them? Yeah, what about the old man that we wouldn't give a cup of tea to? There's nothing else we can do. We have to exit through the sewers as fast as we can. There are many options. Uh, there are many optional fights spread throughout this game. If you wish to test your might, you can explore the town and pick up some extra supplies. There are hidden secrets everywhere, but be careful, as you might end up in a hard battle. You can change the music. Yeah, I've done that. You can open the skills menu with the K button. I'm on my joypad. It does work with my joypad. That's pretty cool. You can open the status menu and the T button. You can auto optimize. Optimize never works. The party's equipment with the plus button. Uh, I've obtained a hotkey info book. More hotkey information can be found by opening the hotkey info book. <laughs> Who would have thought? And uh, this guy's dead, we're just leaving him. Yeah, okay, he's gonna drown. Um, right, so this is us, yeah, Drifted Tina, Cleric, oh, there you go, and um, Ronin. Is that, is that a class? Ronin? Ronin? That's <laughs> right. And we've got 311 gold coins. Cool, cool, cool. So he wants me to go into the sewer, but he said I could explore a little bit. So that's quite nice. Oh, chest. Hello. Found some leather boots. Who are you then? Are you friend or foe? I reckon he is foe. Oh no, his friend. I once heard my father talking about an auction action button. <laughs> he said if you hold down the action button, you could speed up the battle. I'm not sure what that means, but maybe you could figure it out. I'll try to make it pretty cryptic. <laughs> uh, but I'm liking the mapping as, as a whole. Yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, the door is locked. Although this may be... Yeah, that kind of looks a bit weird, like I can climb on there. So you might want some other, like, rocks or something, some more elevation on top of there, because it kind of looks a bit unnatural. Uh, but apart from that, I know it's pretty solid. The door is locked open, damn it. Anything in these chests? Uh, barrels? No. Can I peek through the window? No. <laughs> Fine. Let's check out this little house over here. This looks important. But the door is stuck. Oh, what have you got to say for yourself, Mr. Sign? Nothing. <laughs> it's a blank sign. Nothing to see here. Village tipper. What's that mean? Tipper. I'm not sure. Does that mean like tipping money or you're tipping out rubbish? I'm not sure. Uh, be sure to check every nook and cranny for items that can help you on your journey. There are many hidden items scattered around. <laughs> Thanks for that, pal. Uh, okay, I might turn on auto dash now, to be honest. There we go. Eee, that's better. Uh, the door is stuck. Uh, I'm not a big fan of doors I don't open, if I can be honest. I'm not liking that. You obtain leather gloves. About this one. Mm. So I'm getting to the point now where I'm probably going to stop looking at your doors. You obtained refreshing water. Oh, what's this? That's where the bats live. You obtained refreshing water. Nice. It's very important to keep hydrated, even when it's raining. Oh, oh hello. This is General Guz. Get out of here, girl. Hey, who are you calling a girl? You better be Tina. Uh, Alright, well, let's check out our tech. Wow, so we've got Slice, we've got Third Eye, we've got Charge Soul. Oh wow, this is 100 LP, I'm not sure what LP is. Uh, leather Pants, that's what it is. Let's check it out, let's check that out. Oh, hello. Alright, alright. Okay, wonder what does that do exactly? <laughs> I should maybe have read the description to be fair. <laughs> it stores hit points from your target with rejuvenational magic. It stores magic points, so I'm wanting to hurt them. 
to be honest. I don't want to do all that stuff. Uh, let's just attack then, I suppose. Um, I wanted fireballs and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Liking the music? Yes, very rock and roll. Uh, tech, uh, so spend food to... Oh, right. So I've just spent 100 leather pants to get 200 MP. Right. Uh, third eye, what does this do? Spend your time in a deep focus. Oh, fuck's sake. Allow the user to predict the next attack, increasing evasion. No, I want, I want to hurt them. Delivers a slashing strike on your target with higher than average chance of critical. Okay. Oh, yeah, well, that definitely hurt them. <laughs> That's definitely the winner. And Tina, you've got nothing of you. No, you've got nothing of interest. You're just a boring cleric. I like it, you know, I like his armour. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll tell you what, then, Driftwood. I'm going to use the slice on General Gurz. He's a general, but he's only level one. Oh no, he's just killed Tina! Oh no! Uh, get him, Drifty, get him! <laughs> We're not putting up with that. Uh, third eye, because I don't know why. There you go. Uh, I'm probably going to die now. Call Henchmen. Oh, that's an interesting skill. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's very cool. That's very, very cool. Uh, let's slice the main guy and let's just die and see what happens. Oh, you missed. Haha, <laughs> you fool! Oh god, I don't know. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to call you a fool. I'm thinking I'm meant to die here. It's going to send me to a cut screen. Please. Oh, fucking hell, no cutscene. Damn it. Oh, oh, I should have gone into the sewers. Game over. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Fine. Start it again. <laughs> uh, so, yes, yes, your game over screen was default. You could definitely change that a little bit. Uh, the music is a bit all over the place, as to be said, because you've got copyright music, you've got Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger, and then you've got default RPG maker music. That is, that is a bit strange, that. Right, he's going out of there. Your sound effects are quite custom, though. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. Right, let's find the swords. I'm not bothered about the fucking healing water and what else were A pair of leather boots. Yeah, I can live without them. Right, Tex, let's just slice them up. There we go. And we'll just bash you up. Clobber in time with my iron. Not iron. You're a fucking bronze mace. <laughs> yes, I'm not sure. Are they even a thing, bronze maces? Do you have a bronze mace? I'm not sure. Um, might be better with just a big stick. Right, I'll tell you what, we'll get these books and then we'll go into the sewers. Where's the sewers? Can anyone see the sewers? Oh, what oh, is this, the sewer? Once we go into the sewers, we're not coming back. Make sure you have all your things. Are you ready to go? Oh, yeah, fine. I'll get some water. Since since you've given me that reminder. Uh, so the general's right there. So I don't want to go down there. Uh, quite easy to uh, get attacked by him, though, to be fair. Uh, maybe you can play, like, a new game plus or something like that. And then you can take him on straight away. I'm not talking to you, you're an idiot. Tell me to search things. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, I think that's about a gist of it, isn't it? I'm not going to put my leather boots on. Oh, in fact, I am going to put my leather boots on because I'm going to the sewer. Yeah, I'm disgusted. Oh, my word, how much fucking shit have you got here, mate? Oh, my word, it goes on as well. Got, That's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, right, let's try and optimise. Oh, it worked. Leather gloves, leather boots. Kinky. Let's continue. Yes, let's... What was this? That's changed. So that's me there, Driftwood. And then you give me this guy. Driftwood. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Maybe it's my alter ego or my evil twin brother. You can change your TP mode from the skills menu. Alright. Access your hotkey info book in key items to learn about. Oh no, did I miss. Oh, fuck it. I think this guy out here told me about key items. Uh, we can't go back now, we must find another way. That's strange, why don't you let me go back? That's mm, strange. Uh, I'll tell you what, about forwards we go. You obtained a silk cloak in the sewer. Yeah. Oh, random battle encounters. I'm going to some jellyfish. Oh, no. Oh, no, they're not jellyfish. What, what are they? Oh, the sewer jellies. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> We're just going to do normal attacks, I think. We don't need to do anything special here. i say that, but then again, Tina's nearly dead. Oh, Drift is not looking too great. He's about halfway through his hit points. Yeah, defaults. Um... 
victory jingle. That's not good. That definitely could have been changed out. But I don't think Drift is working on this game anymore. He's, he's working on that uh, MMO online. I think that's what's got most of his attention at the moment. Uh, what was that? We have to hurry. Keep your eyes peeled. Something's not right. Uh, should have explored the last place a bit more. You obtained Tinticure. Okay. Strange names. I like that. We've got a junk pile that's labelled junk pile. Hmm, that's, that's a bit strange. I'm not sure about that. Um, not sure. You obtained a Pele Cap Mushroom. Pele Mushrooms. Hmm, okay. <laughs> oh, rats. I'm not fighting rats. Nah, I draw a line with the rats. Retreat, retreat, run away. Alright, so I've got some uh, fox glove, whatever the hell that's called. Okay, oh, yeah, this mapping's quite nice. You know, there's lots of different levels. Again, I wouldn't name your junk piles particularly. We found some Velder Moss. Mmm, make some tea out of that later. There's a boss over there. Yeah, yeah, mapping's quite solid. Uh, music, I can't hear that anymore. Turn it on. No, I'm not fighting rats. So this is a different battle, and you've got different battle music. That's nice, I like that. Nice bit of detail. And you've got like ambient sewer music here, I can hear dripping in the background. Very cool. You have obtained 1000 DG. Oh, I think I know what DG is. It's Drifty's Gold, isn't it? Drifty Gold. <laughs> you can upgrade your stats by going to the skills and enhance stats. Alright, so let's check that out then. Skills, Drifty, uh, enhance stats. Oh my word. Denied. Uh, right, so what, what have we got here exactly then? Let me have a look. So to get 200 hit points. I need 1,000 joker points. I've got 445 TP mode. This? Oh, so I can... Oh, that. Well, okay. Raise, oh, raise TP by gathering battle. Raise TP by attacking. Oh, so this is like, what, Final Fantasy 13? Did they have this kind of mechanic on it? I'm not sure. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I can't put my finger on it. Uh, raise TP whenever the allies take damage. Mm, okay, loner. Raise TP every turn. And when the user is the last. Yeah, it's probably going to get a loner. Tina's going to die. <laughs> I have no faith in Tina. <laughs> All right, on as we go. Let's, uh, let's do a quick save. That, that's a good idea. Uh, you could definitely give me some kind of auto save, or Tina could say when I get to this bit here Hey, Drifty, remember to save. Press your menu button to save. You know. Uh, right, junk pile. You obtained some more moss. Lucky me. I'm not fighting rats. Go away. I'm gonna fight you, big boy. Who are you? Oh my word, what the fuck is that? Um, yeah, we've got some battle music playing now. Uh, this looks like a boss. Am I even equipped to, to fucking fight? This Tina's nearly dead. Tina, have a fucking fish. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, that's increased the LP. Um, no, no, no. Um, mm, I don't fancy my chances here. Oh my word, 558, fuck off. Oh my, seriously, level 10 sewer mutants. Dude, seriously? Because I'm thinking if I lose this, it's not going to send me to a cutscene, is it? Fuck. I like the music. Uh, can we retreat? Of course we can't. Formation. Oh, we're just dead as fuck. Third eye, why not? Has a lot of bit of fun. <laughs> Attack. Miss. Nice one. Cheers, Tina. Oh, nice one. Drift it. Dude, this is like, like what? The first fucking encounter? Well, the second encounter. Dude. Um, I, I even equipped me, me gloves and my leather boots. I, I don't know why I died. <laughs> Okay, maybe there's somewhere else I'm supposed to go before then. Um, oh no, rats and bats. Because to be honest, if I do some grinding here, how do I get my hit points back? I just got the fuck out of here, I want to die. Um, wow, um, Tina, can you, can you heal me? Restores, yeah, let's do that. Alright, okay, so I've got the hit points back, okay. Um, can't go up there. So again, if you could maybe block that off, so it looks like I can't go up there, that would be good. Um, am I seriously meant to fight that fucker? Can I go down here? Right. No, no, I can't. There's nothing in the trash piles. I can't go back to town for some reason. Um, 
Wow. Yeah, I'm quite surprised, to be honest. Level 10 monster, I'm at level 2. Oh, I've been up there. I have been up there, haven't I? Oh, I've got some more junk piles, so maybe I can find a hand grenade or something, or a fucking atomic bomb. Uh, fucking moss. Yeah, moss is really going to help me. Uh, we've obtained some junk. Who would have thought? Stuck in a junk pile. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's kill these. Let's see if we level up and that might help me with a boss. Although I really don't think it is. Uh, oh, fuck's sake, why can't I use that? Where's my LP? God damn it. I want zero LP. What's that about? Alright, fine. Basic attack, both of you. Oh, nice. Tina for the kill. That's good. Music's changed again. That's nice. Ah, I, I like that. Go on, Tina. Fuck him up. Two, six, eight. Nice one, Drifty. Right, <laughs> that victory jingle. <laughs> oh, and this music as well. Uh, Rat Tails, Sewer Batwing, and Tonic. To be fair, I think I use that music in my game, so I, I should shut the fuck up really, shouldn't I? <laughs> you obtained more. Oh, this is why I don't search junk piles. <laughs> bread. Uh, I don't know, actually, they might be useful. I can maybe make some penicillin or something, to be fair. You obtained a shit take mushroom. I'm I'm not eating that. I I don't even want to pick that up. Put it back. <laughs> Alright, we've got some jellyfish. Attack, attack, attack. Die, die, die. When I say die, 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 I didn't mean you, Tina. Get back up. Come on, girl. <laughs> Walk it off. <laughs> it's a flesh wound. Well, it's only a jellyfish. Well, about if I piss on you, would you come back to life then? Um, oh, she's dead. I thought you might going to be really nice and give me like one HP. No. Uh, so I've got a phoenix down. No, I forgot to search my house. Oh, have a fish. No. Okay, I'll give you a fish. <laughs> oh, God, what's in here? Oh, I've got a... right, another pair of leather boots. It'd be nice if I could go inside that waterfall, like in Zelda, on the SNES. That'd be quite nice. You could definitely give me some more phoenix downs, or whatever you call them. Because Tina's out for the count. So yeah, I've got no idea how long or how big this game is, to be honest. I mean, is this like a, a two-hour demo? Is it a 20-hour game? Farming skill level. Huh, I'm a long way from, from having a fucking farm. And mining skill level, bar skill level, that's weird, that's it. Right, so it's saying I'm five minutes into the game and I'm pretty stuck. That's that's not good. That's not good. Um, okay, I'll, I'll tell you what, let me explore, because I'm thinking I'm, I'm not supposed to be there. Uh, so let's, let's go this way. Let's heal up. Uh, Tina. Uh, yeah, you could definitely, definitely change your sound effects out a little bit. Uh, down here. Oh, maybe that was your intention. Is this all default? Is that what this is, kind of thing? I don't think they are all default assets. Are those bats default? I don't think they are. Um, hmm. There's no point searching that junk. It's not put shit. Literally shitty mushrooms. I don't want them. Uh, maybe there's some kind of crafting I'm supposed to do. Oh, there we go. Um... Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, okay, random encounters. I don't mind random encounters too much, but not every kind of ten steps. And I do like a variation of monsters. Unfortunately, your monsters are a bit, a bit bland, I suppose. They're nothing but rats and bats and uh, jellyfish. Leather gloves. So I've got leather gloves. I've got leather boots. I'm finding them again. Yeah, jellyfish, go away. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh no. <laughs> I thought this was the way, but you're, you're making me go the other way. So I can't even go that way. That's weird. Why do that? Why not just block this off completely? Why Why do that? That's weird. Unless I'm supposed to come back here later. If I am supposed to come back here later, maybe Tina could say, Hey, come back later, Drifty. <laughs> so yeah, that is quite strange game design, that. Um... Oh, for fuck's sake, seriously, piss off, man. I want to kill you just because you've annoyed me so much. <laughs> uh, I need to get my LP back. But seriously, man, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to just grind this until I'm level 10 so I can kill that boss? Is, is that the plan? Because that boss looks a lot more overpowering than what I am. He had a lot of hit points. What's in this one? 
Oh, oh, this is random. I don't remember finding that before. This were the shit mushrooms. We found a human skull. So this is random. That's uh, that's weird. Um, fine. Let's let's kill. Charge. How do I get LP again? Okay, let's, let's, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Uh, status formation skill. That was it, wasn't it? TP mode. Oh no, waste TP. I need SP, not TP. Let me just. Um, I'll just put it back to normal. I don't think it makes any difference particularly. It'd be nice if there's some kind of healing crystal here where I can get all my hit points back, all my SP back. That'd be quite nice. Because at the moment I'm just relying on Tina's and. Uh, and mouldy bread. <laughs> Which I really don't want to eat. Right, so is this it then? Is this is this the level kind of explored? Give me a sword. Give me a shotgun. Oh, fucking mushroom. God damn it. Yeah, these random encounters are a bit much. Right, let's kill the bats. Let's see if we can level up and get some more joker points. Oh, they're not joker points. They're job points. That's what they're called. I think that's what it is from Final Fantasy, isn't it? Job points. <laughs> Makes more sense. So why would they be joker points? Right, there we go. Blitz through that. Um, right, Tina, you need to heal me. What you got, baby? Oh, she's got first aid. Restore hit points for your target with rejuvenational magic. Uh, difference between those two, I'm not sure. Oh, dude! Fine. That's it. We'll do a bit of grinding. Give it a bit of a chance. And then I'm going to try and fight that monster. But I, I really, really don't fancy my chances with that whatsoever. I think that's just going to absolutely murder me. Sewer bat ring and tonic, lovely. Oh, oh, there's something down there. This is, oh, oh, hang on, this is Rust Ham. What the fuck's that? Oh, alright. I'm not sure why this is popping up, why is this different? Yeah. Um. So again, I don't know if this was like a very, very early access test game or something. It does kind of feel that way. Because it doesn't, it doesn't feel very balanced with your boss. Um. I know your doors are kind of locked. You, you didn't make any indoor maps for your houses. So yes, it does kind of come across as a bit of a test game. Go on, kill it. And you've also got like Final Fantasy music in it as well. Uh, okay, we've got some more junk. What have we got here then? Bone chip. How exciting. I prefer chocolate chips, personally. Okay, another uh, water fucking jellyfish. Oh, one hit kill. We're getting stronger. That's it. We're getting stronger. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm not saying I don't count this. <laughs> oh, I think I was look. I think that was a critical strike. Oh, Drift is nearly dead. No, don't kill Drift. I've got no way to get him back to life. There we go. So definitely give me some kind of Phoenix Downs in these um, chests. I definitely recommend that. Skills, Tina. Give me some first aid, baby. There we go. I need some LP from my main man. Oh, my main man's got LP. I must have got it when I leveled up. Uh, job points. We've got 1,800. So let's check out those. Enhanced stats. Ronin. Ronin. I don't understand what that is. Um, oh, I want fireball. Where's fireball? God damn it. Where's... Where? Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Um, max 200 HP for JP. <laughs> so you've got all this room, you've got all this room here. You could spell these out, you know what I mean, and tell me what JP is. You could give me a lot more of a description, you really could. Um, we'll add a passive MP refresh. What does that even mean? We'll add a passive magic point refresh plus 4%. So again, you've got all this room. Tell me what that actually means. That's, I've got no idea. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go for the, the hit points. Yeah, why not? And uh, Cleric, Tina, you... Yeah, you've got the same, so yeah, hit points, there we go. Bish, bash, bosh. Not sure if 200 hit points are going to help me too much, if I can be honest. Back here, yes, I've searched all the junk, so I don't think there's anywhere else for me to go. There's only three screens, two screens. Fighting the same monsters. And there's no dialogue between Tina and Drift. Would it be nice if there were a bit of banter between them, you know? Yeah, okay, got some more job points. And I think this is going to be the end, because I don't think I can fight this monster. I think he's going to be way too overpowerful. 
Um, equip, chain and optimize. Oh, silk cloak. You never know, it might make a difference. <laughs> you know what the defensive abilities are like with a silk cloak. And we've got some leather gloves. Yeah, I'm dead as shit. Uh, I'll do a little bit more grinding so I can level up so I can get another 200 hit points. Who knows, that might help me. It might. Hey, not looking like that. <laughs> Come on, Drifty and Tina, don't die. 143. Oh, don't die. Yes. Alright. Oh, there's one more junk pile. What randomness is going to be here? A tonic. Oh, that's useful. That's actually useful. I appreciate that. Right, let's just check out our crafting then. Is there anything else? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with any of these. I need a crafting bench or something. I ain't got a clue. I don't know. Key items. Oh, right, let's look at this. You can change the music. Oh, you can change the music. I know. You can change the item menu with the I button. You can open the quick menu with the U button. So you got shortcuts. Don't really need them to be honest with an RPG maker game. You can open the skill menu by playing. Yeah, I don't need shortcuts for that kind of stuff. You can auto optimize parts of equipment to mine with the M. Oh, let me, let me press that. What's this? You can roll a D100 with the plus button. What the fuck? What's that do? Equipments. Oh, I'll just press. Hang on, my plus button is my equal button. I just just realised <laughs> it might be different on other people's keyboards. Uh, yeah, uh, let me try shift. Oh, mm. so I can't do me me one hundred. Do I have another one? No, I don't. No, no, my plus and my equal is on the same button. That's a that's a fucker, isn't it? Uh, what else? You said M M for mine. Oh, equipment has been optimised to mine. What does that mean? What do you mean? <laughs> uh, oof, I don't know, mate. Uh, right, optimise, I'll do it the old school way. Optimise. Optimise. Yeah, I've... Recovers hit points 10% plus 500. That's weird, isn't it? Right, we'll both need a drink. There we go. Yesterday's fish, what does that do? LP. Do I need LP? No, I'm good for LP. I mean, mushrooms. The mushroom has alabal pigment and is known to cause sleep when properly prepared. Let's go for a sleep. No, no, can't. <laughs> uh, right, I don't think there's anything else for me to do. Skills. Can we upgrade my skill one last time for a fight? Yes, we can. That is awesome. Um, hang on. Bear with me. I know where it is. I know what I'm doing. There we go. <laughs> Some more hit points for you. More hit points for you. We're going to do a quick save. And let's just see how quickly I die here. Because I do not fancy my chances whatsoever. Although I am level 10, so we are the same level now. Right, let's do it. Come on then, you bastard. Let's see what you got. No, not you, you little bastards. Oh, fuck's sake, go away. You, the big bastard. Come on, let's have it. Right, so... Oh, if I press, oh, if I press left and right. Oh no, oh no, I pressed left and right on my fucking D-pad and I fucking missed my turn. Well, that sucks. You could have, oh, you could have told me about that, dude. So when I press left and right on my D-pad, it changes my position, but it also takes my turn up. Um, so I'm going to have to reload this. <laughs> and yeah, this is kind of what I suspect is going to happen. I'm just going to die. I'll give it a go though, I might not die. If I, if I heal, and, you know, I mean I strategize, I might be able to win this. Although he just healed himself for 282. That's not good. Right, let's do it. Cue the rock and roll music. Let's go. So, we're going to start off with anti-venom, absolutely not. Clear your eyes, moves blind from one ally. So I've got a load of skills I don't fucking need. <laughs> Blue Wind restores magic points to a user uh, amount, 20% of wisdom, 20% of will, power, 10%. Yeah. Um, so Tina's got nothing at all to attack with, apart from attack. Clear your eyes, anti venom, first aid. Restores hit points to a target. So, yeah, this isn't a rejuvenation skill, is it? You just call it rejuvenation magic. That's a bit confusing. Um, 
So yeah, there's no point in using any of this. So the only thing that Tina can do right now is attack. Look at his health bar, Jesus. Let's see what this does. Oh, for God's sake, it, it took off one square. Okay, Drift, it's on you, mate. What have you got, pal? You've got a set offensive strike. How offensive is it? Enhanced strength and wisdom by 20%, but reduces vitality and willpower by 15%. Oh, God, is that good? I don't know. Defensive stance. Enhanced vitality and willpower by 20%, but reduces strength and wisdom. I don't really like things that reduce my stats. Do you know what I mean? Um, I mean, what does vitality do exactly? I can't remember. Did you tell me? You might have done. Strength and Wisdom, I think, is your melee and your magic. Willpower, I don't know. Um, enter a defensive stance that restores 10% of hit points. Oh, my word. Um, adds a shield that absorbs 500 magic. Gain vitality. Will buff HP regain. Bushido resistance. Bushido potency. Wow. I, I, I know I complained about some of your other things about not having much of a description, but that one, wow. <laughs> uh, third Eye, Charge Soul. Spend physical energy to recover magical energy. Mm. Uh, so after all this, the only thing I've got really is slice. I'll tell you what, let's go on the offensive. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to get offensive. Oh, 619! Oh my word, alright Tina, you're definitely on healing duties, you. I'm sorry, girl. Not very exciting for you. 593, okay, okay. Alright, time to slice them up, Drifty. Go get them, boy. Oh, I reckon we can win this, we can win this. Yeah, we can win this. Tina, you are just permanent on healing duties. You really are. There you go. And Drifty, slice and dice. Oh, that one nice. That like a critical. Um, oh, what, another turn. Oh, that's right, yeah. uh, restores hit points. Removes blind. Restores magic points with you. Yeah, I don't know. Is that... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 60. Okay, okay. I can't remember if she's using magic points or LP points. I can't remember. Uh, Drifty, you can use Slice again. Oh, 2000. Oh, we can win this, we can win this. What's the difference between live stream and first aid? One uses LP, one uses 10 magic points. But you're not telling me if they do the same amount of healing, if one's better than the other, I'm not sure. There you go, Tina. 251, that was shit! Oh my word, what were that? Uh, stores 35% magic... Oh, for fuck's sake. What happened? Oh, for God's sake. Restores LP. Alex. Ugh, okay, Tina's dead. Fucking hell, Tina. Oh no, no, sh oh, well, someone's gonna die, <laughs> inevitably. Have we not got a heal all? That would be really nice if you had a heal all. Uh, so, first aid just sucks. You wanna use live stream. Uh, that, that's good to know. Right, well, I've gotta keep Drifty alive. He's the only one that can do any damage. Uh, here we go, slice him up. Until he runs out of LP, that is. Oh no, Tina's still alive, good girl. Right, go on Tina, heal yourself, you deserve it. Nice, 503. I bet she's gonna die next turn. <laughs> Get knocked out, I bet you. <laughs> no, she's not, she's not. I'm gonna heal her again. Nice. And every time I use that, I'm getting LP because I picked that stance that gives me LP when I heal. Um, last second, I can't what game that is. I think it is Final Fantasy VII, the 13. Not sure. Right, well, boss is dead anyway. I, I never had a doubt, by the way. I knew I, knew I could win this. <laughs> and default victory jingle, and of course we have levelled up. Woohoo! Okay, not bad, not bad. Team levelled up as well. We've got some job points. We've got a blood curse ribbon of freedom. Why not? Ring of protection tonic and some fungus. All right, we'll party with that. Tina, are you okay? You're hurt. There's a castle to the north of this tunnel exit. I'm going to take you there to get patched up. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, this is Articus Base Camp. Meanwhile... Hmm, there's some unusual weather. What, rain? How unusual is that, mate? <laughs> so, he looks a bit weird. He looks a bit stretched. I don't know if you've changed that. That's, that's... Yeah, they both kind of look a bit weird, to be honest. Uh, Sir Artus, the kingdom is under attack. Oh no, I blame the rain. Attack from who? It's the Crimson Dawn Empire, sir. They've attacked the castle, and what's worse, they appear to be working side by side with Oracus. I was sent here to summon you back to the castle as soon as we were struck. <sighs> that can't be true. We signed a peace treaty with the Crimson Dawn Empire. Oracus? We have agreed to work together and slay the beastmen. This makes no sense. 
Has Cain sent you here to get me rattled? I grow tired of his sick jokes. Ha ha ha. Sir Articus, I wish this was a prank, but I'm afraid it's true. I saw the beastmen with my own eyes, and I drew my blade to defend the castle of Lord Mikral himself, and he sent me to gather you. That's not the only thing to report, though. They have also brought the necromancers. <gasps> the necromancers? Why? Why, that magic has been forbidden for ages. I was asked to deliver this artifact to you as well. This will prevent them from using instant doom magic on you. Well, that's a useful artifact to have. Cheers, mate. I appreciate it. Don't forget to equip it, sir. Oh, can you just auto-equip it for me? You obtained an ancient skull. How do I equip an ancient skull? I'll just put it on my head. <laughs> I believe you, soldier. Let's make haste to the Coral Castle. That sounds nice. A castle made out of coral. Cool. Oh, well, so this is us now. Okay, we're now Articus. Arterius something. He's a knight. That's what he is. Um, okay, okay. I quite like this mapping. Yeah. Yeah, this is quite nice. You've got, like, the mud and stuff like this around your tents and all that kind of stuff. Hmm, yeah, quite nice. Right, Arterius's tents. And I think you are just using default uh, RPG tile sets, aren't you, with this? Can I pick up a sword, a spear, a rope? No, nope, but I can pick up a phoenix brew. That would have been helpful with last fucking battle, mate. <laughs> I'm on me Jack Jones. I don't need a phoenix brew right now. Uh, can't interact with any of this. Can't read the map. Can't read anything. No. Nope. Okay. But I appreciate that you let me inside that building. Unlike your houses. <laughs> you obtained some refreshing water. What, rain water? Oh, there's no rain water in that one. And I can't go in that tent. Boo. Can I go in this tent? To be fair, tents are quite hard to map. <laughs> how, how do you do a triangle tent? Yeah. That one works. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this one is a bit tricky. Anything in there? No. Can I get some corn? No, nothing at all. There's nothing really to explore you at all. The only thing to get is the Phoenix Down, whatever you call it. No little secrets, no little nooks or crannies. That's a shame. That's a shame. You could definitely give me like a vine or something so I can climb up it and I can find a little chest. That'd be quite nice. But overall, the mapping is, is, is aesthetically pleasing to look at. You've got a fire, you've got two logs for people to sit on. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Right, on as we go to Phalicon. Oh, hello. It's a bit fucking bright outside. Jesus. <laughs> and it stops raining. That's nice. Uh, world map. Yeah, I could probably do a bit more work. This is a bit, a bit basic. Um, you could definitely do with some more uh, details on here, different coloured grass, some dirt, telling me which way to go, um, some elevation perhaps. So we've got Coral Bridge, we've got Coral Kingdom, and we've got the Lustum Sewers. But it works for what it is, it's, it's a placeholder I suppose, you know. Oh, can I run away from these? Yeah I can. Hello, you alright there mate? Alright, let's fight you. Alright, so we've got, yeah, definitely default monsters. I think these are default sound effects as well. Yeah, just spam the attack. What about you, mate? Right, I'll tell you what happens if I run away from this one. Oh, I can't run away from this one. Alright, fine, we'll kill this one as well. 226 isn't bad. Again, I would like some kind of healing crystal after I finish these fights. I can just, you know, get my hit points back. That'd be quite nice. Oh, I'll tell you something I better fucking do. I better save it, hadn't I? Yes. <laughs> Uh, definitely give me a save option when I finish that boss fight. Definitely bring up the save menu with that. Castle's quite nice. Again, very, very good choice of music. Although, is this... I'm just looking at this. Is this a pre-made one for an RPG maker? Is this one you just load up? Because this looks very familiar. Um, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. There's something about this castle looks awfully familiar. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you made this. Uh, Necro, what are you doing, mate? Oh! Always like that, is it? Oh fuck! I didn't, I didn't equip my skull. Run away! Oh, so much I saved it. <laughs> Knight's valor. Let's use that. Okay, six hundred twenty-seven. One hundred forty. Maybe we can kill him. Blade rush. Let's check that one out. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's pretty cool. I like that. I'm not sure about this battle music. You could have something maybe a bit more sinister, perhaps. Nice uh, valid again. 627. Ah, of course. Cool. So I can just heal myself up. No threats whatsoever. Oh, yes. Nice one. Articus. Whatever your name is. Right, I better equip that thing you told me to equip. Optimize. Now, where's my skull? 
<laughs> cue, cue the guitar. Um, so I'm now equipping things that I found with my previous party member, so that's a bit weird. Um, where's my skull? What was that? It? Ancient skull. There we go. What's it do? Uh, it protects from fucking death magic or something. Wow, this music is really, really cool. I'm not sure if it's appropriate for what's happening. <laughs> I really like it though. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it seems a bit much for what's happening right now. Okay, on as we go. Yes, this castle also looks familiar on the inside. I've definitely been in this castle before. Mm. Oh, not another necromancer. Piss off. Uh, oh, can I run away? You're not going to let me run away. <sighs> what else have we got? Red Blade, which I think is the only thing worth using. I will check out the other skills. There might be something else. No, not that. Not your basic attack. Should put attack on. Protection, no one wants to protect shell. As a shell, now. Nah. Just attack. Nice. Um. Oh, for fuck's sake, I got ambushed, for fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, so the graphics are... Yeah, it's a bit jarring, because I'm like this fun little avatar, chibi kind of character thing, and then I'm fighting this person who's, you know, in full plate mail. So the, the graphic styles, yeah, they're kind of clashing a little bit, it must be said. But then, yeah, you've got this really joyful music playing. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I need to heal, so skills. Can they only heal in battle? Ah, Item. Oh yeah, we found some main water, that's right. Nice. Um, yeah, I've definitely been in this castle before. I think this is a pre-made one. Yeah, Canberra was... Well, with Davini or something. I think his game had this. Yeah, definitely been in this castle before. Yes. Uh, you obtained a silver helmet. Oh, well that's going to be completely useless then, isn't it? <laughs> Silver soft as shit. Um, might be softer than bronze, I'm not sure actually. I don't want a helmet made out of it though. Obtain the leather boots! Run, run, run! Run away from the soldier! Nice. Now oh, this music's better. This is a bit more fitting. Although it's quite oriental. This is more of like an English castle that we're in. A European castle. Remember you can save... Dude, you should definitely bring that up soon. I can't believe you only just brought that up now. Remember, you can save the game anywhere. Cheers. Oh, someone just ran away. Oh, bollocks, I should have saved it. This is the Elite Empire Assassin. <laughs> Give up now, Mikkel. Your castle is overrun with the forces of the Crimson Dawn Empire. Kneel before me, you fool of a king, and I'll make your death a painless one. You'll never take the kingdom while I'm alive. Oh, you shouldn't have said that, mate. We don't plan on letting you out alive. <laughs> so don't worry about that. But I promised a fortune for your head, and I'll never miss a mark. <gasps> well, that's the first time for everything. Yeah, punk. Thank you for coming, just in the nick of time. It was, wasn't it? I came as soon as I got word. Don't worry, my lord. I will dispatch this nuisance. A nuisance? That's one, that's one word you could call an assassin. Oh, you're a bit of a nuisance, you. <laughs> you little rascal. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay. Let's see your health bar. So again, he's he's a lot bigger than me now. He's like twice the size, and it's a different type of graphic style. I do like a bit of consistency with that. This is this is a bit weird. And his health bar is different to the, the the boss that I fought in the sewer as well. Let's check out his yeah. That's weird. That's weird. Two nine one need to heal. Oh no, not a shuriken. Oh, he missed. Ha <laughs> ha! You fool. Right, let's use my Knight's Valor and cue the heavy metal music. 202, I didn't mean to do that. 269. No, oh, double attack! That's just rude. Oh, I'll have you for that. Right, Knight's Valor again. Oh, what's happening here? Am I fucking cursed or something? Oh, mate. Knight's Valor. Well, I'm, I'm, I've got something fucking wrong with me here, man. I need some bloody paracetamols or fucking what are it? Power fungus. Yes, let's use that. Oh, that's giving me 10, 10, 10, 9, 9, 9, 1, 2, 5, 1, 2. Fuck knows what this is done. I I'm blind because I can't see now. I've got these covering my eyes. <laughs> oh, I've only got 30 hit points. Oh, no. Uh, yesterday's. Um, 
Restores 50%. Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Oh no, not 699. Uh, Knight's Valor, Knight's Valor. That's more like it. There we go. I'm poisoned, I'm fucked. I'm sorry. <laughs> shell, as a shell, five turns, willpower. Yeah, let's do it. This is maybe where I'm, what I'm messing up with. Yeah, I think that's a shield. Yeah, I think. Knight's Valor. Oh, I'm fucking poisoned. This is. This, is, this sucks. Oh. 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 Bollocks. I can't win this, can I? I'm fucked. Fucked, 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 fucked. Game over. Right, well, to be honest, I think I might leave it here. <laughs> um, <laughs> this game, I'm not too sure. This, this does seem like it's still in the very early early prototype phase with the music, with the sound effects, with the enemies and the battlers. The balancing definitely needs sorting out and fixing. This this game doesn't feel very balanced. This, I'm pretty sure, is just a pre-made map that you've used. Um, which is absolutely fine to use as a, as a template. But, yeah, you could definitely... I'm dead. Definitely go back and, and, and fix this. But like I said, I, I know you're not really working on this game anymore. You are working on your main game, the MMO. And to be honest, I'm not sure about that game. I'm not sure if you spend your time making that. You've got about, what, 90 people playing it. I don't know if that's going to increase later on. Unless you, like, really tart it up, you really give it some good music, you give it some good sound effects, you increase your battles. I don't think many people are going to play that, to be honest. I, I don't see what the appeal of that game is. I really don't. There wasn't any storyline for it or anything like that. This game, the storyline is we had to go into the sewers because a cat broke a window. Was that right? Um, and then, yeah, we've got like, the Crimson Tide that wants to kill the king. Mm. So, yes, yeah, so I'm not sure about this one either, <laughs> to be honest. Um, you, you fall in game, that worked. That, that wasn't. That, 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 well, that, that was something. Your Space Invaders one, what, not Space Invaders, Asteroids game. That wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. But again, it doesn't really have much long longevity, I suppose. You know, once I played that for five minutes, I've played it. You know, I could just play Asteroids. Um, yeah, this this game needs a lot more refining, a lot more work done to it. But the mapping, well, I can't really comment on your mapping because this isn't your mapping. Uh, but the mapping in the sewers and the town was quite nice. That, that worked. And the tents, that, that was kind of cool. Uh, this is an automatic fight. Oh no, haha, <laughs> fucking outwitted you. Fuck you, Necromancer. <laughs> Can I go this way? Let me just check this out. Is there a chest or anything here? I could do with a good sword or something. Fucking silk cloak. So I'm finding the same items as well. I've already found a silk cloak. I've already found leather boots. You're making me find other ones. So it'd be nice if you gave me more items because there's, you've got all these slots right here. You know, I mean, check out all this. You know, give me a belt. Give me something from me back. Give me some earrings. <laughs> you know. Uh, Optimise. Alright, tell you what, let's, let's try this again. Earring, no. Ring. Oh, ring of protect. That's why Optimise sucks. It didn't even equip my ring of protection. I'm not having a go at you for that. It's Optimise. Optimise just sucks. Where's my fucking skull? That's skull under. Oh, I don't think I did it, did I? There we go. I'll equip that. Uh, we'll go up here. The castle has been overrun. Slay more enemies in the castle first. What the fuck? You must kill at least five enemies before proceeding. You're currently slain too I don't like this. I don't like you just saying, oh, Yorkshire Puddy can't go up these stairs because you haven't slain enough enemies. That doesn't make sense. It's, it takes me out of the game. I, I don't like that at all. L let me do what I want to do. I, I appreciate your concern, but there's no need for it. I'm fucking dead out. <laughs> Uh, so yes, yes, I'm not sure about this game. Not sure if I would recommend it. Uh, if you are interested, there will be a link down below. Like I said, um, I'm fucking dead. <sighs> but yes, it's, it's been interesting playing your games. I know you, you kind of concentrate a lot more on your tutorials and on your YouTube side of things. You know, you're not spending a load of time making these games at the moment, and I, I appreciate that. I do, I do. You've got other things in your life. You've got a kid. You know, that takes up all your time. Bloody hell. Um, but yes, if I can be honest, I'm not sure about your your text game. I'm, I'm really not sure about that one. I would maybe, 
I would maybe look into making like a Star Dew Valley game with RPG Maker, like this. You know, give me a farm that I can make uh, four or five different fences with, and I can plant carrots and potatoes and corn, and I can have a horse and a pony and a donkey and all that kind of stuff, and some chickens. You know, th that would be quite a nice game to play. But yes, I, I personally, hand on heart, I wouldn't play your MMO online because it's just not very appealing there's nothing in it that's going to hold my interest even for five minutes even there what's the point so i can be number one on your leaderboard as a, as a lumberjack I, i'm not bothered here now um this game needs balancing it, it, this comes across as a very early type of prototype of game it genuinely does everything from the sound effects to the music to the storyline i suppose uh, so yes, I'm not, I'm not too inclined to play this. Although I really like your main menu title screen. I think this is nice. And this music's nice. But I think this music's Final Fantasy. So, yes. <laughs> not great, not great. Alright then guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. ta -ra.